WeVideo has a newscast template that you might be interested in using. If you click New Video Edit and scroll down, you'll find Newscast K12. Now this is a fairly sophisticated template. It has a lot of tracks so that it can incorporate all the different components that you'd find in a typical newscast. I wanna just run through those tracks with you so you have an understanding of how they work together. So I'm gonna scroll down to the bottom here and one of the first things you'll notice is there's a track that's barely visible at the bottom. If you come up here, you can resize your preview so that you can pull those tracks into the viewable timeline. The next layer is your background. So in this case, it's a video panel. You can choose any background you want. So if you'd prefer to be sitting at a news desk, you can go into the stock media up here and you can change your background. The next layer is the green screen. So this is you, presumably either sitting at that news desk or maybe standing on location somewhere. The thing that you want to remember about green screen is that color keying will work with a lot of different colors. Your background doesn't have to be green. So you could stand against a solid color wall, you could hang a solid color sheet and stand in front of it, and you can get the same effect. The main thing that you want to remember is that your background, you need contrast between your background and your skin and what you're wearing. If your background is too similar to colors that you're wearing or to your skin, then when you go and pull that color out of the video, it's also gonna pull out pieces of you. So contrast between your background, what you're wearing and your skin, and you can use just about any color to achieve this green screen effect if you don't have a green screen at home. The next layer, which they're referring to as picture in picture, are the images that they're going to float as the newscaster is speaking. So in this case, it's a picture of pasta. That pasta has been resized and then placed up in the top left corner of the newscast. The layer above that, the track jump to, is when they're going to switch to a full size picture. So again, the newscaster's talking. We've got a picture in picture, and then we're jumping to another picture. And the reason this works is because these tracks layer on each other. And the baseline, right, your background is at the bottom and each layer sits on top of the layer before it. So that if something takes up the full screen, it will block anything below it. Whereas if you resize it and move it to a corner, you'll be able to see what's underneath. Now above that, they have two tracks, titles and tips. So these titles, are the, um, the title for the beginning of the newscast as well as the, um, the bars that come up at the bottom of the newscast. You can edit the text in all of these. And then the tips are the things that are coming up in the top corner as the video goes on. Now these are part of the template to tell you how to use it. You're going to want to eliminate this track or replace it with something else when you create your newscast. So that's a quick run through of how the template tracks work together.